hi everyone welcome back to my channel in case you are new here i'm jonathan your tech informant in my previous video i thought on how you can use html to create a registration form on a web page so today that registration form will be styling it with css so if you have not subscribed up to now click the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you'll be notified each time i release a new video so without saying much Let's start coding. The first thing I'll be doing, I'll be changing the font by targeting the body element. Then using the font family property with the value area. And then saving it, we see the font has changed. Then the next element I'll be targeting is the input. Here, I'll make the width of the input 100% then the padding around padding I will make it 10 pixels then the border I will make it I'll make it one one pixels then solid and I'll be choosing this color CCC so we can see the effect of this code that I've added you can see the effect the input is now 100% I'll now have to make the margin so I will have a margin in between the label and the input elements. I'll make the margin top to be five pixels and then the margin bottom, I'll make it 15 pixels. So saving it, we can see the, the top of the input is like five pixels. Then the, the distance between the input and the next label is 15 pixels so that there will be a proper spacing in between them. So I need to change the font size of the label. I'll be using the label selector. Then the font size, I'll be using font size 1, 1.2 em. So you can see that this has increased the font size of the label. Okay. Another element I'll be targeting is input, but this time I'll be targeting the radio type. So what I will do to, to differentiate it from others is by using the type radio here and then create the declaration. Then the width will be, will be 5%, then the margin bottom 15 pixels. So on saving it, you see it now adjusts it. The next element I'll be targeting is the submit button. It doesn't look nice here. So what I will do, <clears throat> what I will do, I'll now create an input and then have to now declare this. That's, I want to target only the submit, the submit type. And then I want to make the background to look different. So I'll just make a background. So I'll be using this color code as a background. Then the color of the of the text would be white. So let me give the code. Yeah, I think that's for white. Then padding. I will make the top and bottom to be 10 pixel, and then the left and right to be 20 pixel. Then the border, it won't be having any border. So I'll make it null. So let me just save this so we see what happens here. So I'm saving it, this is what we get here. So now we can see that some of the elements are not affected by this code we have written here. The select element and the test area are not, are not affected. So we have to add select, select will be involved and then the text area should be involved 
should be affected by this code. So let's save and see what happens. They are now 100%. The submit button is not supposed to be 100%. So the submit button is supposed to be on the a small button at the right corner of the screen. What I will do here is to omit select on this. So what I will do to remove select, I will now use not type. This meaning that I want to exclude submit. So let's save and see what happens. Yeah, you can see we have excluded it from the 100% width. So it's now normal. We'll have to move the summit button to the right. What we need to do here is to add float, float to the right. So that's it, let's move from left to right. Then the final thing I'm going to touch here is to make, whenever the, the mouse is hovering on the summit button, it sh the cursor should change to a pointer. So I'll go and then create cursor pointer and then save. So each time the mouse moves over the submit button, the cursor changes to the pointer. That's it. We've seen that we've gotten a very decent styling for our registration form. Let's remove the CSS style link here. Let me remove it and save. So see when we refresh, this is how the registration form looks like. And when we add the CSS to it and save it, it gives us this beautiful design. Okay, that's CSS styling for you. You can see how we change the registration form and then it's now looking presentable now. So in the next video, I'll be showing you how you can add functionality into this registration form. So if you have not subscribed, click the subscribe button and also the notification bell so that you'll be notified when the next video will be coming up. Then if you have any question or you have a comment you want to make, or any additions you want to make on this video, please feel free to drop them at the comment section. Thanks for watching. See you later.